Um, we are trying to create a catering class in which students will learn the background there is to running a restaurant, running a catering business. Um, meanwhile, our goal is to ultimately serve the school, where if there are programs happening at the school, whether it's maybe a school play, uh, end of the year banquet for a club or a sports team, if uh, the parent-teacher conferences where the teachers are fed, mm -hmm. or making the food for sporting events that have the concession stands running. Um, that way we can hopefully get a little bit healthier food out there, also homemade, and just get these kids a little bit more experience. It would be an elective credit, um, and it would just be something you would want to do, someone that might be considering continuing on to become a chef, or just wants to get more experience in the kitchen and learning how to do those things. All right, hey, so this is uh, Physics of Sports. Uh, physics is a practical application of math, so we're doing uh, this practical application of mathematics and physical uh, principles to uh, apply that to things that students are interested in, like sports, uh, to become a better athlete and just a better lifelong learner, uh, incorporating science into your daily lives and doing things better. So anything kids are interested in, we're looking at uh, um, finding ways to have them apply physics principles so that they can get better at it and, and practice those things. All right, uh, so the, the class is entrepreneurship and kind of the main goal for this class is to be able to walk away with, with a business idea that you can pursue later in life. So, um, you know, the, the main focus and the main skill that I want students to be able to walk away from this class with is how to identify business opportunities, figure out if it's the right fit for them, and then you know try to start to determine whether or not it will be successful or unsuccessful. So being able to produce a legitimate, uh, viable, you know, um, hopefully successful idea for a business is what every student will leave this class with. Uh, I'm Mr. Tibble and I am teaching statistics and AP statistics. So both are uh, fourth year level of mathematics um, that would count as a fourth year towards college. Well, statistics is kind of opens itself up to a lot of different things. So it varies quite a bit. We do have some projects where students are actually collecting data, running experiments or doing stuff like that. Um, so, and then analyzing it, getting on Google Docs, uh, Google Sheets and, and building up some, some graphs and kind of analyzing the data. Um, we have some just experiments, like first day we kind of look at M&Ms and the number of colors and of different colors of M&Ms in the bag. Uh, sometimes we're rolling dice or flipping coins, so that exists. Sometimes we're on Khan Academy doing some practice. Uh, on some of the math skills that we have. So it, it really does vary quite a bit. Um, but statistics does open itself maybe to a few more like projects and kind of flipping of the coins and stuff like that. Uh, AP statistics moves a little faster, so we maybe have less time for some of those projects, but we still do a fair amount. Yeah, I think there's there are so many different ways that you can apply the arts in whatever career that you choose. Um, and they're relevant and they're it's just a great way to, to spend your time, too. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it's a great um, way to just be a little more mindful in your day, just to relax your brain a little bit and um, kind of experience a little bit of flow um, with create, being creative and, um, and, and uh, also just communicating and connecting with teachers and students because it's something you don't really get to do in other classes. So. Yeah, um, I offer a lot of different uh, tech type classes, for example, engineering design where we design stuff to 3D print, um, computer programming where we make games come to life, um, AP computer science principles which is a college credit when you pass the test, and then intro to STEM which is a primarily freshman course where you kind of touch a whole bunch of different types of um, STEM activities from you know the engineering design to computer programming to Arduinos to robotics and a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, a student who enjoys my class are generally the students that like to be active and creative. Uh, one of the things that I value in all my classes is creativity. Having an idea and taking that idea and making it come to real life. 
Um, whether your idea is a video game you want to make or something you want to model and then build, um, to be successful in the class you really want to have a creative spirit. So as we move forward into the future, we all know that you know, robots and AI are taking over our lives, but one of the things that they're not going to be able to take over is the, the human creativity and innovation. And so a good reason to take the class is because it's a way to exercise your innovative spirit and to apply your skills into the new realms of technology that didn't exist very long ago. Uh, so the Adaptive Mentorship Program, or AMP as we call it, is a program that is meant to serve traditionally underserved students through a peer mentorship model. The goal is to have inclusion be at the first and foremost part of this whole program. So um, students that are uh, mentors are going to be taking on a new role where they actually work with a diverse student body with disabilities uh, and cognitive needs. Um, the goal for this program is to move all throughout the entire school and do five things. Um, promote a positive classroom climate, embrace students' diversity, increase our own cultural competence as teachers and as leaders of the school, encourage student interactions, and foster a community of learners within our classes. The goal is to take this program from just adaptive physical education and turn it into adaptive math, adaptive science, adaptive social studies, and really bring our school up to the next level where everyone's needs are met and we become an all-inclusive, supportive school. So the class I'm promoting is an awesome elective course called Education Exploration or really educator exploration. And it's an opportunity for students who might thought be interested in becoming a teacher, who thought maybe in the long run that would be a great career. What, what would it entail? What does it look like? And at Eagle Valley High School, Ms. Kinsley is gonna be teaching a section of this course next year. So there's two parts to the class. There's a first semester portion, and that's when you go through the educator exploration uh, curriculum, and you learn about the different components of preparation that a teacher goes through to become a teacher. Um, you have guest speakers who come in and talk about their preparation programs. Um, they can be different in different places, and you learn kind of different pathways into becoming a teacher. And then you actually learn about how to plan and be one. So. One of the key activities will be actually learning how to plan a lesson and then giving that lesson to your class, kind of practicing the skills, and you see sort of the complexities of how people become teachers and what they have to do in order to be fine teachers. Um, second semester, the group will be able to go to an internship option in which you'll be able to visit different classrooms across the district and actually be in classrooms with teachers who are covering courses that you're interested in teaching. So if you want to be an elementary teacher, you go to different elementary schools. Middle school and high school, sort of the same thing. Um, so there's a lot of different um, opportunities to see what it's like to be a teacher in action and get the preparation to become a good high quality teacher.